The most severe side effect from HIV drugs, of course, like with any, would be death. But thankfully, we see it very rarely. Uh, most of the antiretroviral drugs are very safe. Um, and the most they cause patients is inconvenience with non-serious side effects such as nausea or diarrhea or bloating or gas. Irritating things but not serious and not life-threatening. There's two types of antiviral drugs. One is the AZT style drug, also known as nucleoside analogs. What these drugs do essentially is they just kill cells. The other type of antiviral drug, these are the protease inhibitors, and what they do is they interfere with the activities of an enzyme called protease. Viruses, some viruses have proteases, but so do healthy human cells. Either style of drug, you give it to a human, and you either kill or harm healthy cells. It's like my stomach always feels full and most of the time looks full. It, look, it's, it's, it sticks out and I can't really, uh, there's no amount of exercise or anything that will like hold it in. And uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of bloating and a lot of gas and like a, a diarrhea, episodes of diarrhea. I have friends that won't go out because they're on the drugs and because they might have diarrhea at any time or they might start vomiting or they might get nausea or they got to stay home where the meds are and they're like chained to this idea of the meds keeping them alive but it's actually they're killing them they're hurting their liver and kidneys and their hearts several of the people I know have died of AIDS died of heart attacks they call it complications from AIDS it's complications from AIDS medicines you can walk through West Hollywood and you can point out, you can see from the shrunken cheeks and the swollen bellies and the, the looks on people, you can see who's on the drugs. I looked at my face a couple of years ago and I had this like gaunt look going on and it became so pronounced that I, had, I would have a fold of skin um, here and I, I noticed it and it, it, it bothered me to the point where I went to... Um, to, to consult with plastic surgeons as to, um, I didn't ask what was going on. Just, you know, I just, at, at the time I thought it was, uh, I was just aging really rapidly. The other thing that I think the drugs could cause is uh, some facial atrophy. Here were the, the uh, pat, fat pads on the cheek, uh, waist away. Uh, I'm not sure if it's caused by the drug or if just by getting older, but um, I have, a feeling that it's caused by the drug. We injected 
um, collagen, but then that was expensive. And then we, we did another procedure where we put um, some uh, 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 human tissue, which, which came from cadavers, and, 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 and it would um, just try to straighten it out. And I have little bumps on my back, little tiny things, but you know, there's another syndrome where it gets redistributed on the back. And, and that makes me think, we don't know what the long-term effects are. We're, I feel like a human guinea pig. And there's no question that these drugs have, have side effects. AZT was certainly not a panacea. Um, but it's, it's very clear that people, especially taking combination therapies, are doing well. And those are people who are taking the medications from scientific meetings, from these conferences, from my personal contacts with people in the field, I can tell you that I've found no evidence anywhere that people live longer, better lives who take these anti-HIV drugs, these protease inhibitors, either in, alone or in cocktails, as compared to a similar group of HIV positive people who do not take these drugs. So I do not know where the evidence is for the claims that you see in the New York Times or in the CNN or wherever you see it, that people are living longer, better lives as a consequence of taking these drugs.